Did you know that our prehistoric ancestors ate bone marrow, went into a hibernation state, and dressed themselves with clothing made of intestines to survive the harsh winter? In the winter, ancient people had to deal with impossible problems, but they had amazing survival skills that helped them get through it. People in the past were very determined and able to adapt to harsh conditions as shown by the shocking facts about how they lived the winter. These shocking facts about how our ancestors dealt with the cold months will make you watch until the end. Winter officially begins in the Northern Hemisphere on the solstices, usually around December 21st, which is the day with the least sunlight. In the Southern Hemisphere, it begins on June 21, also known as the Winter Solstice. The timings may vary depending on the year and location. In ancient times, different cultures and regions had different stories about winter. Early people likely had a more personal experience with the changing seasons, including winter. They prepared for winter by gathering and saving food, making warm clothes from animal hides, and hiding in safe places. As winter arrived, hunting and gathering became more difficult, and there was less food available. People needed to adapt to these difficult circumstances and make use of their safe provisions. Ancient humans first appeared on Earth millions of years ago, and their significant historical moments and how they dealt with winter are discussed. Homo habilis and Homo erectus were early humans during the Old Stone Age, relying on hunting and gathering and using stone tools. A small group of Homo habilis lived in a valley surrounded by mountains, and as winter approached, they prepared for the cold months by gathering around a fire. They sought shelter in natural caves using sticks and pebbles to build improvised barriers. The group's leader demonstrated how to sew warm clothing using thread and sharp bone tools, which helped prevent frostbite. Food was another crucial aspect of winter survival. The tribe had been hunting and collecting food for the next winter, storing it in animal skin bags for a consistent supply. To stay warm at night, they fashioned blankets from animal hair and braided reeds. As snowflakes fell, they used their knowledge of terrain and animal trails to find concealed food sources. Hunting became more difficult, but the tribe learned to adapt by using stone tools and honed swords. During winter evenings, the tribe would gather around the fire to sing and tell tales, with the walls of the caverns covered in vivid paintings depicting their everyday activities and the creatures they saw. These artistic mediums served as educational tools for future generations and were entertaining. The Middle Stone Age marked a shift from a wandering lifestyle to a more settled one, with people developing complex tools and farming. Early people lived on rolling hills and thick woods, embracing nature. As the weather got cooler, they prepared for winter by meeting around a campfire to discuss survival strategies. They learned from animals' behavior and built strong, semi-permanent homes made of moss, animal hides, and waved twigs. The leaders taught the group how to make warm clothes made from soft animal furs and plant fibers, showcasing their creativity and good-looking nature. The Mesolithic group prioritized keeping food fresh, gathering and hunting to prepare for limited supplies. They burned and dried meat, collected nuts, berries, and roots, and stored them in handmade boxes lined with leaves. The group also learned that fire could be used for magic to combat darkness during long winter nights. They built and kept fires in their homes to stay warm, get light, and feel safe. During winter, the tribe explored the landscape for food and supplies, following animal tracks and using their knowledge to find hidden food sources like roots and winter berries. They caught their food using well-made tools like stone knives and bone harpoons. As the winter sources approached, the group held a holiday of light and thanksgiving, putting evergreen branches on their huts and lighting torches to symbolize victory over darkness. A big meal storytelling, singing songs and laughter brought the group closer together, making them feel like a community. During the New Stone Age, farming became popular, leading to the growth of stable villages and start of the first cities. Neolithic people lived in lush fields and rivers, and as autumn turned to winter, they prepared for the difficulties that came. They met around the fire, 
led by their wise leader to discuss how to survive the cold weather. They learned from nature and built strong underground houses using wood, mud, and thatch to keep the cold out and heat inside. The leaders taught the tribe how to make warm clothes by spinning wool from their sheep and making clothes on wooden looms. The woolen clothes were not only useful but also stylish, keeping them warm all winter. One important part of their winter survival plan was storing food, which they had grown and taken care of for months. They stored foods like barley and wheat in granaries made of reeds, dried, pickled, and fermented extra fruits and veggies, and kept animals as pets for milk, cheese, and meat. The tribe learned the usefulness of oil lights for fighting darkness during longer winter nights. They used oil from plants to power their lamps, making their homes look warm and welcoming. In the snowy scenery, they found food and wood for their fires, using climate knowledge to find plants and mushrooms that thrived even in winter. They also picked up fallen trees and dried logs with care to ensure fuel for their fires. The tribe held a big gathering of Thanksgiving and held events to mark the seasons, including greenery trees, bright decorations, meals, gifts, and dances. The Bronze Age saw the development of metal working, particularly bronze, which combined copper and tin. This led to the creation of more durable tools and weapons, fostering trade and the growth of complex societies. The tribe in this period thrived in a land of rolling hills and clear lakes, but as winter approached, they prepared for the challenges. They met with their wise leader to discuss survival strategies, building strong, round homes with thatched roofs using stone and clay. The leader demonstrated how to make warm clothes by spinning wool from animals like sheep and goats and weaving it into well-fitted garments. The group also stored food, growing grains like wheat and rye and storing extra fruits and vegetables in cool basements. They kept animals as pets and used them to obtain milk, cheese, and meat. The tribe learned about the use of oil lamps and candles to combat the darkness of winter nights. The soft flashing light made their homes look warm and welcoming. They hunted and gathered provisions, using metal tools to catch food and firewood to keep their hearths fueled. As their winter solstice approached, the tribe held a gathering of light and thanks, putting evergreen trees around their homes, lighting bonfires, and eating holiday meals together. The group enjoyed dancing, singing, and giving and receiving gifts, making them feel happy and united. During the Iron Age, people used iron weapons and tools to change fighting and farming, leading to the rise and fall of many ancient cultures in rough hills and old woods. The Ironwood clan lived and worked together well. As winter approached, they prepared for difficulties by meeting around the fire and learning from their elders. They built strong longhouses with straw roofs and clay-dubbed walls, keeping people warm and protected from the winter winds. The clan's leader taught younger members how to weave and sew warm clothes using wool and flax fibers to create tunics, pants, and cloaks with elaborate designs that showcase their artistry and national identity. One important part of their winter survival plan was storing food, which they had grown and taken care of for months. Grains like barley and oats were stored in granaries made of woven baskets, while animals provided milk, cheese, and meat. Candles and oil lamps were used to fight the darkness of longer winter nights, with torches made from sticky wood and filled with animal fat. The clan went out into the snowy woods during the winter to hunt and gather food and supplies. They tracked animals like deer and wild boar with iron guns and tools, and gathered firewood by picking out dead trees and twigs in a planned way. As the winter solstice approached, the clan held a big feast to show their thanks and start over. They painted their longhouses with branches of evergreen trees covered with berries and feathers, ate rich meals together, gave and received gifts, and sang and told stories together, strengthening community ties. The Ironwood clan's survival during winter emphasizes the need for adaptability, skill, and social integration. 
It educates us to grow from others' mistakes, use resources at our disposal, and find comfort and joy in the midst of adversity. In ancient times, winter would have mostly been about surviving, being inventive, and adjusting to the shifting seasons. Prehistoric humans successfully survive winters through adaptation, resourcefulness, and social cooperation. Understanding how our ancestors thrive in these challenging circumstances can provide valuable insights into our own resilience as a species today.